So here is my full balcony makeover. Da, 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 da. When I popped off, then you go gave me just a little bit of lot chop. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn and y'all are getting a raw ass video. No makeup, no nothing. This is what you get because I'm about to be working really hard and about to be in the heat, I'm gonna be sweating. So there's no point up on my makeup. So you see the title, y'all are getting, well, let me turn this fan off. Y'all are about to get a full makeover of my balcony and I wanna possibly help you if you're thinking about getting palettes to um, create your own balcony couch or about my chair however you want to do it hopefully this video will help you these are the um palettes that i bought i did not buy these dirty ass palettes i met got from behind the grocery store they are dirty as hell and i'm actually about to take them outside and power wash them and i actually had only gotten two but i'm actually going to go back and get two more because my balcony is bigger than what i thought and i want like more of like a couch kind of thing going on so me other people whoever can come out here and sit down i live in an apartment complex i have to actually take them out of my apartment and take them downstairs and power wash them because i did rent a power washer from home depot which was 40 dollars so definitely worth it because these palettes were free they were behind a grocery store that were throwing them out and I was like oh let me take them I didn't purchase the cushion yet but you will see that in this video um, and I'll let you know how much that costs but let's go ahead and get these palettes out of here and downstairs so we can go ahead and get them power washed if you are excited for this video go ahead and smash that like button comment below and subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed I post videos every Sunday Wednesday and Friday all right guys it's time to get to work got a lot of work to do let's go so there's been a change in plans and sorry guys if i'm too bright i have my rooftop back because i have to go pick up two more pallets but i actually decided to go and purchase the cushion for the um balcony first um so i could just have it and then i have to go to home depot to pick up some stuff as well so yeah my lighting is not that great right now i just want to give you that update i'm about to run to home goods and get the cushions and I will be back. It's the next day. Um, yesterday was extremely stressful. Um, I just didn't know what I needed to use this power washer, but I got everything situated. I actually already cleaned three pallets and I have just this one left and I already did the other side, but I pretty much did the same thing to all pallets. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. Took my power washer and then I sprayed it off. Then I got this little bucket. It's like a sanitizer bucket. It's all you can put like whatever you whatever kind of spray you want in the bottle. I actually mix my own spray with bleach water and um, soap. So I'm just gonna take this and spray it down with the bleach water and soap. It's not that powerful. So then I'm gonna go back and and scrub it. Can't really record the whole thing, but I basically go in and scrub the entire palette with this brush. I'm not gonna scrub the whole thing with you guys, but just so you know what I have, I have a power washer this bucket which was like $12 at Walmart then I had to purchase a hose to connect to the power washer some gloves you always want gloves if you're dealing with wood and then a brush I actually have two brushes uh, because the other one got really dirty so yeah that's what I have I'm gonna finish cleaning these and then once I'm done the other three are already pretty much drying I'm gonna start spray painting them white so let's go okay so I got all the palettes in here these don't look that clean but I scrubbed the hell out of them they still have like dark spots on them these came out pretty good and it's kind of almost dry so we're gonna lay this one out and start spray painting it i put this down on the floor and we're gonna get to work oh and just so you know what i have i have bought this from walmart it's like 20 dollars. it's pretty big um it's called husky husky plastic sheeting so if so i don't get paint anywhere and then i have my spray paint this is 12 ounces in each i pray it's good enough for both i'm gonna do my best <laughs> to get it done so let's see So 
I ran out of spray paint, but the paint is pretty much already drying. So what I'm gonna do is take it up to uh, my apartment, set it on my balcony, and then I'm just gonna go over it with uh, wet paint. With so since I ran out of paint, I actually just decided to paint the parts that are only going to be seen. So that's why you only see white paints around the edges. Paintbrush. So it can dry and take its time to put it in my apartment. Because right now I'm at a loading dock that people probably need to use. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. Oh my gosh, y'all look crazy. I feel crazy. I'm so sweaty. So I brought the palettes up to my balcony. And since I ran out of spray paint, what I did is bought paint. This is the paint I got. It was in the craft section at Walmart. They, did, they had ran out, so I was only able to get one, but I made it work because all I did was paint the edges, the parts that are gonna be showing. And right now I'm just waiting for it to dry, and then I am going to finish decorating my balcony. So I will be right back. Okay, so now that the paint is done drying, I am putting down twin size, twin size mattress toppers. And I bought two of them just because I wanted to be wide enough to cover the whole thing. So this is what it looks like now. And now I'm about to go put the pillows on. Okay, so now I put the, now I have put the top pillows on and then I put some decorative pillows. All of these cushions are from at home. I think I've already said that, but just in case I didn't. All of these pillows are from at home. And now this is what it looks like. And now I have this cute little throw. Just feel like it'll make it look more homey. Like, got the throw. And I got this little plant. Focus, focus, focus. Not focusing. There we go. Got the cute little plant to put in the corner. And now I just put some little fake decorative um, plants or leaves, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get more so I can wrap, my, wrap around my entire balcony. Right now, this is all I have. And this is what it looks like so far. All right, now I put up, oh, let it focus. Can I focus? Can I focus? Ooh. All right, guys, so I put some lights up that goes around my balcony. It's going to look really cool at night. And then I put some mats down. So I'm pretty much done. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna get a cute little table to put right here or right here somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna get a table, but this is what it looks like. I am super impressed with it, how it turned out. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like at night. So here is my full balcony makeover. I got these candles that are supposed to keep the bugs away when it's lit. My lights are flashing in the video. I don't know why they don't really flash or actually pretty still. I'll throw on a picture so you can really see what it looks like. I got a bunch of pillows and yeah, a little bug light. My plant is over here. It's like a whole vibe out here, a whole vibe. So I hope you liked my balcony DIY comment below if you have any questions i hope i put everything in this video that you were supposed to see and how i actually created the diy balcony set with the palette so here's a picture that i wanted to show you guys i got the tables from amazon got the candles from amazon i will put everything in the link or in the description below got my pillows most of my pillows are from at home some of them are from walmart um the earlier video um earlier part in the video it showed you it wasn't that many pillows actually went back to walmart and got a few six dollar pillows to add some more cushion to you know the balcony couch and yes this is what it turned out it's not really that dark but it looks really nice i'm really pleased with it it was the most expensive part about this whole balcony set was honestly the pillows from at home that came out to be almost four hundred dollars but honestly with everything else everything else was pretty cheap everything else that i added on was 12 dollars, 20 dollars here um but if you really think about it to purchase a couch bed like this they are extremely pricey one you run you at good 1200 1500 dollars for a really comfortable couch that you can create yourself so really did enjoy this look people a lot of people kept asking oh what do you do when it rains i don't have anything above my balcony so when it does rain it will rain on everything so what i do put all the pillows in one spot i put the 
um, the rugs underneath everything and then I put a tarp over it. I actually started taking the non-outside pillows in the house and I leave the outside pillows outside. But this was the first night that I actually started using it and this is what I do. Keeps the rain away and I like it. But it works out perfect. I've been using it for about two weeks now. And whenever I feel like going out there, I'll go and like <laughs> dust everything down, use my leaf blower, blow away the bugs, light my candle, and it's a total vibe. If I didn't cover anything, comment below, ask me anything. I'm really active with all my subscribers. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment below and let me know what's your favorite part. All right, I'm out, guys. Peace. Uh, da, 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 da. When I popped off, then you go gave me just a little bit of hot chop.